Hi guys, this is what I want to show you today. Very nice, very cute cow, four-legged. This is first time I've made it. it uh, you make four legs and then you connect it together. Looks very nice, very cute. I've made um, some facial expression. You like how it looks. I love it. I really in love with this uh, little cow. Lovely little tail. Everything I will show you in this tutorial. It will be two parts of tutorial. It is very long tutorial, part one, part two. Um, I have to say that uh, for horns, it will be thin yarn and I doubled it. First, because I don't have black plush yarn and second, it will look better if you use thinner yarn and smaller crochet hook, 4 mm crochet hook for horns and for spots. Otherwise, I was using baby yarn, plush yarn from Aldi. It is chunky, 100 gram, 95 meters. Crochet hook, 5.5 millimeters. And I will not use black yarn for uh, legs. I will show you how to make it in gray because it just looks better on camera. Otherwise, you will not see any stitches. So let's start. All the information will be in the description below under this video. I will start with magic circle or magic loop. You make the cross. Then you insert your hook. Pick the working yarn. If you can. Like that. And with the waking yarn, you make chain one. This is all part of magic circle. This will not be counted as chain one. This is count as magic circle. I'm pulling the end slightly to make this circle smaller. It is easier for me to work with smaller circle. And six single crochets. And then you pull the end I always count my stitches 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 to identify your first stitch Round 2 It will be 2 single crochets in each stitch You can use stitch marker to mark your first stitch. Second single crochet in the same stitch. Two single crochets in the second stitch. and two single crochets in each stitch all around. I'm making this video quite slowly, but if you want to go faster, you can always speed up in settings and watch it. I always recommend to watch it first time before you start crocheting it. First you watch it and then uh, second time you crochet with me, you watch, you pause, finish the rounds and uh, eventually you will have a lovely toy for yourself or maybe for your friend.
By the end of round two, you will have 12 stitches. Nice little circle. Third round, I will be making in the back loops only. If you have, uh, you've got uh, two loops, front loop and back loop usually. So if you insert your hook into the middle of the stitch, it means you start crocheting in the back loop. So insert right in the middle and you are hooking back loop. One single crochet in one stitch, back loop only. And I will have 12 stitches. I will swap it for black yarn afterwards when I uh, make the cow when I connect all the legs. But now for just for video, for you to see it better, I'm using gray yarn. And this is the last stitch before stitch marker. I'm changing the color for white. So I haven't finished my last stitch. The last loop I've, I'm finishing this single crochet with white color. How to change the yarn just easy, you just instead of grey you use white and it's basically that's all. Next round it will be one single crochet in each stitch but it will be again both loops. When you crochet, you crochet in under both loops as usual. I'm holding the end of white yarn and crochet it over just that it doesn't distract me and uh, it kind of uh, weavers you go. And it's holding nicely. So you go over one single crochet in each stitch. You will have 12. I didn't tell that this is beginner's project because first of all it is uh, plush yarn and um, it requires quite um, practice to see your stitches and second this is quite a big project I would say. It took me around two days to crochet to make video. Yeah of course uh, a bit more time to edit the video because the video will be quite long. It will be two parts around one hour each. But I will show you basically everything, how to do the face, how to do everything. So we are now at the end of uh, uh, one, two, three, fourth round. And then round five and six it will be one single crochet in each stitch so two more rounds you will go one single crochet in each stitch with white yarn and it will be the legs I can pause the camera and you can pause it if you are crocheting with me and you will be making four of those legs. My cow will have four legs. Don't cut the yarn of, on the fourth leg. We will connect those legs and I will show you how to connect four legs. It's seemingly and it's lots of fun. And you can use these techniques in uh, lots of other toys. It's really a very good one. 
So you insert your stitch marker and make another round of uh, white. So in total the leg will be uh, six rounds. One, two, three, four, five and one more. So if you count it will be three rounds of white. And I've made it with black because I will connect the legs. I didn't cut the yarn on the fourth leg, as you can see. And now let's connect them together. How to connect legs? You take the next leg, insert your hook into any stitch. I start with uh, where I basically finished. Insert your hook in. Pick the yarn, pull it out, pull the end, you don't want large gap, yarn over and pull it through. Basically you are making single crochet and you will do single crochets all over the other leg. And this will be the beginning of your next round. I had 12 stitches, so it's supposed to be 12 single crochets around this leg. Let's say leg number 2. You can see it is the last stitch. It's got a little bump. 12 stitches. Then you pick the next leg, leg number 3. Where I finished I will start again. So next stitch. And I'm making 12 single crochets around leg number And number 12, the last stitch, and then you find leg number 4, and do exactly the same, 12 single crochets around leg number 4. And there you are. It looks very complicated, but um, really it is a quite simple technique. But as I said, lots of toys are made with this technique if you want to make legs and then continue with the body. It's really good. I'm planning to make maybe a little reindeer. I don't know, we'll see. If you've got some ideas, uh, you know, some requests, Right, uh, you can find my email address and maybe drop me a picture and I will see what I can do for you. And now you've got four legs connected. You remember that you did not make that round around leg number one. So we need to make 12 single crochets around leg number one. So find your first stitch, very careful there, right? You can kind of pull your stitches and you will see where you started, yeah? This is where your stitch. Maybe you could have put it a stitch marker. And it should be 12 stitches around leg number one. Now 
don't worry about the hole in the middle uh, we will stitch it afterwards Eleven, and should this one should be number twelve, and this is the end of round seven. So we've made seven rounds. Next round, number eight. It goes one single crochet in each stitch. You mark your first stitch that now you can identify the beginning of the round. And it is very easy. We are making round 8, 9 and 10 one single crochet in each stitch. So if you had 12 stitches for each leg, you're supposed to have 48 stitches so far in the body. So you will make 3 rounds, one single crochet in each stitch. And then we will start making decrease and uh, make it like a nice round back, yeah, back piece. I will show you how to finish this and it will be the body and I must say that this is the, the easiest part. For me it is the easiest um, because the hat it will be all those little things, decorations and, um, you know, so this one will just uh, crochet and it will be it. I can pause the camera and uh, you will make it without me and then I will see you guys in a bit. You just go round and round, one single crochet in each stitch, you can clearly see your stitches now. And now I've made round 10. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. You should have 48 stitches. Now let's start making decrease. And I will show you how to make decrease in a mikurumi. So I'm making six single crochets. Number two, three, four, five, and six. And this is decrease. You need to make one single crochet out of two stitches. Insert your hook in the middle of the stitch from the uh, back, yeah, from the under, yeah, and hook both loops, both front loops of two stitches. And you are making single crochet. So out of two stitches you are making one single crochet and this is decrease. And then you're making six single crochet again. Four, five, six, 
four, five, and six, and decrease. Just like that. Very careful here. Sometimes you can um, not see clearly which stitch already been taken for decrease. Don't crochet another stitch into the one that is already taken. You can pull your stitches and see. Or you can, uh, before you start making decrease, you can put stitch marker or put your thumb on it. It just uh, you are making decrease uh, so to have less stitches right make sure you make next single crochet in the next stitch and so on you continue the round six single crochets decrease and you should have 42 stitches if you are doing everything right And again, sometimes when you miscalculate one stitch, one, two stitches, it will be all right. So if you've got a plus minus one, two stitches, I wouldn't undo all my toy to just find where I lost that one stitch or where I made it extra. It will be all right. But if you miscalculate it on uh, quite a few stitches, maybe it will be different shape. But as I always say, everyone is different, so all toys are different, all cows will be different. Nobody is perfect, so don't worry about it. If you want, you can unravel and do it again, but if you if you want, you can make it uh, keep going and see how it will be. It will be just a few rounds, so we are kind of closing the gap on the back. last two stitches decrease you know that you are doing everything right when you've got um, last two stitches for decrease so it means you are doing spot on on the pattern next round it will be five single crochets and then decrease and I'm looking I, uh, I dropped my stitch marker there you are. It is already getting uh, nicely curved. So we just keep going. Five single crochets and decrease. If you are watching it first time, you can just move along. It's nothing really interesting, just uh, Follow the pattern and close the back. A little bit later, when we do the the hat, it will be uh, it will require lots of attention. But I will show you everything. Uh, that's why this video. I'm sorry, this video is very long. But this is quite complicated toy, especially when you do the hat. Uh, those um, all those bits and bobs but don't worry I will show you I'm trying to show you maximum in this toy so this is the um, yeah next round first stitch and now we are making how many four I think so this is two three and four and decrease so we are going one single crochet less with each row we reduce the amount of single crochets between decreases I'm making this video quite slowly that even if you watch it without sound I know 
uh, some people don't like the sound of my voice I'm sorry I can't be liked by everyone but if you can still watch it and you can count stitches it's absolutely fine this is the end of the round next round you see you finished with the decrease so everything is all right and now you are going for round 14 I think yeah so it will be three single crochets one two and three so three stitches and decrease and this will be the pattern for the round three single crochets and decrease all around and at the end you will have 24 stitches by the end of round 14 So three stitches at the end of the round and I have two stitches left for decrease so it means that my pattern goes well when you've got decrease before your stitch marker. So round 15 it will be now two single crochets and decrease. and go around two single crochets one and two and decrease I show you so many decreases so even if you didn't know how to make decrease I'm sure right now you on you know it exactly how to do it you can uh, write some comments how you like this video as it's too fast too slow as I've done it uh, too long video or you don't need so many details any feedback I would appreciate okay and this is the end of round 15 
then round 16 you are making one single crochet and decrease As you can see we started with 6 single crochets and decrease, then it was 5 single crochet decrease, 4 single crochet decrease, 3 single crochet decrease, 2 single crochet decrease, and now it is the round of 1 single crochet and decrease, so this is the pattern. And this is the basic amigurumi pattern when you are going around, you know, like closing down the circle. Yeah, like uh, making a ball and this is like the second part of the ball. Now you've got the shape and let's let's stitch this hole. I found one, uh, I left a little bit longer tail on one leg. I didn't tell you before, sorry, but um, this could be quite useful. If you don't, if you haven't left the long enough tail, you will just make get the yarn and uh, no problem here yeah? and so on this is just uh, to stitch this hole between the legs this is quite large hole but it doesn't matter the way you stitch You just uh, take your time and closing the gap, picking stitch from one side, stitch from the other side. When you've got some gaps on the legs, just close them up as well. Make sure you close all the gaps because we will insert the stuffing. When you pull the legs, you can see that on the joint it may create some gaps. Yeah, so just uh, go along placing a stitch or two on those gaps to cover those gaps. You can see it's no ho not a hole but it's kind of a gap when we pulled the leg. Sometimes this happens, but it's it's nothing really wrong about it. This is how the pattern goes. If you've got any other way to join the legs, let me know. But I think this is a quite simple and effective way to how I've done it. So it's no fuss. You just crochet it around each leg, joining them. Maybe if you put a chain one or two between legs, right? It wouldn't. Uh, I really put so much tension on the legs, uh, on the joint point, but I just run across those gaps and uh, there you are. I think it looks very nice. Make a knot secure at the end and you can uh, leave that tail, whatever is left, inside the cow. You 
you will need to insert some filling. The cup is getting closer. You can do it now or if you want you can leave it for later. You can buy this filling on Amazon in any hobby craft shop or I don't know where else. This one is from Hobbycraft, but next one I've ordered from Amazon because I'm run out. When I started making the toys and I didn't have enough supplies, I just used my old pillows. So this is how you are. And let's finish this round. The round was one single crochet and one decrease. So I'm making one decrease. Then one single crochet. And I will finish the round. And it will be another round. This round will be going just decrease, 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 decrease. So every two stitches I will be making decrease. The gap is very small now, so I'm going kind of against the rule. It's supposed to be you making decrease six times to have six stitches left, but I can feel that this gap is very small. I don't want to have a hump over my little cow's back, so I made only three decreases. And this is how to finish amigurumi nicely and neatly. You insert your hook in the middle of the stitch and pull the yarn through. Insert, pick the yarn and pull it through. And this is how you go all around your round. Then I will just pull it, you will see, and it will be a very nice and very neat finish. But you have to go around every stitch. I didn't use stitch marker because I can see clearly that those large stitches they are the ones that uh, I need to pick. And now you just pull. And it should really close the gap nicely and neatly. Just like that. Fantastic job. Now you can hide this tail. You don't have to cut it. I did not cut. I will use this tail to stitch maybe the tail or to stitch the head.
this is very nice neat finish this is usually I use this type how to finish all amigurumi toys this is nice and palatable if you feel it's uh, maybe uneven feeling you can just uh, spread it out ideally it should be four legs equally filled up and you can see the gap under the legs it's very nice everything is lovely here maybe I've done a little bit too much filling just spread it out overall I'm very happy how this body turned out and this is my first time I have did I did this uh, four-legged um, amigurumi but I'm sure it's not the last one because I quite like how it looks And this is the body is done. Let's make the head. So you start with amigurumi ring again, hold the tail, make the cross. Pick the yarn, pull it out and make chain one. Just watch this a uh, few times this little bit and you will master your amigurumi ring or amigurumi circle six single crochets if you still don't know and don't want to do amigurumi circle or amigurumi ring you can make chain two six single crochets in the first chain stitch but it can leave you slightly a uh, little hole okay one two three four five and six now we are making two single crochets in each stitch two single crochets in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch and all around we are making first we are making like a flat circle and then we will turn this into the ball shape for the hat At the end of round two you should have 12 stitches and then for the third round it will be one single crochet and one increase so two single crochets in one stitch and repeat one single crochet and then two single crochets this is first and that is second right into the same place and this is the part the pattern for third round one two one two one and two usually you finish with two single crochets in the last stitch and this is how you know that the pattern goes spot on
At the end of third round you may have 18 stitches. Round 4 it will be 2 single crochets. And then increase two single crochets in the same stitch. So it goes one, one, and now two. And repeat. It goes one. One and two. And with this pattern, you finish the round. You should have twenty four stitches by the end of round four. And then round five, it will be three single crochets and increase. So I've made three single crochets and now increase two single crochets in one stitch. One, 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 and increase two single crochets in the same stitch. Again I will stop the video and you can pause and finish this round. You should have 30 stitches by the end of this round. And now round 6. This is round 6. You go one single crochet in each stitch. And like this I will go round 6, 7, 8 and 9. So for four rounds it will be 30 single crochets. One single crochet in each stitch. I will not show it all. This video is uh, quite long. So you go for four rounds, one single crochet in each stitch. When you reach the end of the round you will take the stitch marker, then make one single crochet and reinsert. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And this will be round ten. We will start making decrease. I'm making first single crochet, putting a stitch marker. second single crochet and third. So three single crochets and now decrease. Exactly the same what we did with the body. Again, three single crochets, one, two, and three. Decrease, pick the front loop, then again pick the front loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull it out, yarn over and pull it through. And repeat the pattern, three single crochets and decrease till the end of the round. Okay. 
you will have 24 stitches at the end of this round and finish the round for next round it will be one single crochet place your stitch mark come back one single crochet and now decrease and again one single crochet one single crochet and decrease with this pound uh, with this pattern one single crochet one single crochet and decrease you will complete the round next round of decreases it will be one single crochet and then one decrease and this is the pattern one single crochet and one decrease and so that's it you can pause video and finish this round It will not be long when we put eyes and uh, insert stuffing. This is nearly the end of the hat. this lovely little ball for the head you can um, try it on the body see how it looks I need to readjust my camera to make it slightly higher If I measure my toy, it will be 22 centimeters high or around eight and a half inches high. So, yeah, and uh, this will be my next tutorial. I'm getting ready for Christmas. It will be a lovely little Christmas tree, you can see. It is a 
like uh, three tiers you can make more you can make it larger and this is beginner project we are doing now with girls in a crochet clubs it's all single crochets around so back to my tutorial now this is how it will look Let me show you how to insert eyes now. So for eyes, if you count one, two, three, four, and round five, I've placed two eyes with the distance between them one, two, three, four, five, maybe a bit, something like five, six. You play with eyes, uh, maybe insert, reinsert, position it uh, differently, the way you like it. I've done this muslin just to try it on how it looks. Don't worry, uh, I didn't show you how to do it first. It will be in my part two. I just want to position it and maybe to check how it looks. It's not so easy to make all the proportions right, all the amount of rounds and everything, everything. Sometimes it takes five times to remake the toy. This only took me twice to remake. So first my uh, the head was a little bit too small. I had to redo this and a uh, few bits and bobs. But overall I would say that this was a lovely tutorial. I really liked how it went. I enjoyed making it. If you are making it with me, I hope to see your result if you tag hobby crochet on maybe Instagram, Facebook, um, tag hobby crochet with your cow and I will see your result. I would love to see your result. Now uh, I positioned this but then I am uh, not quite sure it looks a little bit too big for me. So if you maybe turn it like this, the other way around, with the end looking up, faced up, you see it's um, not so long, it, it looks, um, for me it looks better, otherwise I would have a duckling. Okay, so um, yeah, it takes quite a lot to make a um, nice pretty face for your toy to look at, make it look cute and lovely. Eyes, uh, insert safety cups. I inserted maybe the wrong way around, but this is how I look, I like how it looks. So this is how ins I insert my cups. If uh, you want to give this toy to a small child, maybe you better um, make embroidered eyes or crocheted eyes because the child can pick it and this will be a choking hazard. So I don't advise this toy with eyes like that for a small baby. And if you measure this eyes, I will tell you exactly this is around 14 millimeters. Maybe it could do with 15-16 millimeters eyes, but I didn't have. This is the largest eyes I've got. Then uh, you may need to insert the stuffing and we will finish this head. It will be part two and I will show you how to do the rest of the cow. 
But at the end of this tutorial, it's very interesting part that I've discovered myself, basically. So, we're finishing. It is... This round will be decrease, 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 and decrease again. And as, as I said, at the end of this part one, it will be very interesting part how to make the face. I will show you how to shape eyes a little bit, just a bit, but um, sometimes you can see the toy. I'm not professional, I don't claim to be professional toy maker, I'm just learning how to make cute toys and uh, when you use the needle and you kind of shape it, um, it looks cute I think, but again you may try. You don't have to shape it, but you may not know how it looks if you haven't tried, isn't it? To finish the ball, the hat, you insert your hook in the middle of the stitch. How many stitches you've got left? Maybe six, maybe eight. And uh, weave the end tail through all your stitches. And then we will pull it to make this end nice and neat. This will be the back of the hat. And I want it look nice and neat. If you pull it and you can see that one large stitch, it means that maybe you need to weave uh, through another stitch. Yeah, like this. This is one large stitch left. So no problem or we went through last stitch and now this is finished. You can see it's all around nice tiny stitches. So hide this tail, put put it uh, somewhere through the head. using your hook or using the needle, it doesn't matter, but I, I prefer the hook because the hook is uh, quite solid and very long. Some professional toy makers have got a very long steel needle that they can do it. I don't. As I said, I don't claim to be very professional. I'm learning and I want to dip the eyes inside the head slightly to make it um, just like that. You don't have to. You can skip this part if you prefer not to. But um, you may try this. If you don't like, you can always undo it. So this is how I do it. First time I'm making this, so if um, I don't like it, I will just cut it off my tutorial. But I quite like how it uh, ended up. I'm using the same yarn. I will not pull, pull it very uh, tight, very strong. I will not uh, make very strong tension that I don't break the yarn. The trick is you use all the same spot, right? And uh, then on the other side of the eye, and with the same end I go to the next eye maybe in this bit I, I can recognize maybe I've done slightly wrong but the result will still very nice so what I've done wrong, uh, maybe I should use the next stitch, stitch next to it, otherwise you see it's no point uh, to go down to this point if I take this up again, you know what I mean. So then you, you tighten the next eye.
and this will dip the eyes slightly. just to make slightly better facial expression. Just a bit. The rest of the tutorial and everything else will be in part 2, so you can start crocheting this basic um, body and the head, and I will show you in part 2 how to finish the cow. We will finish it and um, add uh, lots of other features. I will show you exactly how to do those um, face, little mouse. It's, um, it looks nice. I love how it turned out. Really, I like this tutorial. I like my cow and I'm really very thankful to my young uh, subscription subscription girl. Uh, I'm sorry. I um, I need to thank you personally for this idea. Um, and there you are. I will see you guys ne guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment maybe if you got some other ideas and uh, give me some feedback about this cow. Next tutorial part 2 should be maybe in a day or two. I'm just editing the video. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.